Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here in Lakira Studios, here to show you something a little macabre, a little Halloween, maybe something a little spooky. I'm going to show you how to use configurable joints to make something hang in Unity. And if you stay till the end, I have a little extra bonus for you. Let's get started. So I've opened Dark Fantasy's demo graveyard scene in Unity. In the main view, you can see several different hanging corpses throughout the cathedral. They actually have two different versions. There's a body one and a body two, as well as just a regular noose. So I'm going to show you basically how to do it and we'll run it through rather quickly. All right, so first you want to grab the noose bundle and we're going to create an empty parent. Then we're going to grab the rope and the body together and we're going to stick it underneath the bundle. It works better if they're all childs, but uh, it really just, it's up to you. You could have them as siblings as well. So we have an empty game object, which we can now move around if we would like. So like that. All right, for the noose bundle, what we're going to add is a rigid body. And then we're gonna select is kinematic. Go to the rope and we're going to add a configurable joint. We will grab the noose bundle and we're gonna bring it over as to the connected body. That means the rope is connected to this rigid body that is stuck in the tree. And it'll pivot around and we can see that the pivot point is sort of in between this tree branch here. Now, as configured, the rigid body is going, since we didn't select is kinematic and we press play, it's just going to fall here. And let's, let's see that. What we'll need to select is we need to remove, lock the X, Y, and Z motion. This basically means the robot, the rope won't move, but will swing angularly, which is sort of, what, which is what we want. And that's what we need to do for the configurable joint. Then we take the body and we're going to add a fixed joint. The fun part about adding just the joints is it automatically creates these rigid bodies. And one thing you can do is you can make this heavier. So let's say 50 kilos and maybe up the drag a little bit to maybe something like uh, 0.8. Then let's grab the rope and create, add it to this rigid body here on the fixed joint. And the fixed joint basically means it's connected to whatever that other connected body and won't move. Um, but since it's childed to the rope, it's gonna swing with the rope. And now if let's press play, we might run into some weird physics issues, which I'll discuss in a second. So you can see it kind of like shifts a little bit there. And if I had to take a bet, I think it is this tree's mesh colliders. So let's remove these tree mesh colliders and let's try it again. And now because it's no longer interacting with the collider of the tree, we get it a little more just thudding and hanging and it's moving ever so slightly. Now what we have is a game object here that we can just save and we can load it up wherever we would like. So let's repeat that for noose body two. Create the empty parent, bundle, rope, body, bundle. We will be adding the rigid body, that's correct. Then we're going to select is kinematic. We'll go down to the rope. We're going to add the configurable joint. We're going to move the noose bundle into the configurable joint, rigid body here. We'll then lock the X, Y, and Z. We'll then go to the body and add a fixed joint, adding the rope to the connected body for the fixed joint, and then upping the weight and angular drag. So one thing we're running into, as you can see, it just kind of stops, is probably the colliders. So going in and looking at this, we can see that the rope sort of falls into, into this. Let's adjust the length a little bit. And then let's move So 
So you can see how the colliders kind of are messing with each other right here. So what we can do is we can remove the mesh collider and make it a boxed. So what we can do is we can take the rope and maybe remove the mesh collider and maybe make it a box collider. This allows us to edit the length here and we can move it just slightly above the area so there's no connecting connecting colliders right there. So if we see that and now take a look. So you just want to avoid the colliders from hitting each other. So we're going to edit this collider as well up at top. Let's take this box collider down a little bit. And then we'll move him. And so with a, a little tweaking, a little fine tuning, you get something maybe closer to this. Where you can still see a little bit where the rope disconnects. But if you're not this close up, it probably looks fine for most individuals. Just kind of looks like the wind's blowing them and you don't have to animate it. Thanks for being patient. Let's show you that little bonus. So as these corpses are hanging, what you can do is click on the body, go to the fix joint and adjust the break force. Currently it's sent to infinity, but if we set it to zero, corpse just falls to the ground. Let's do that one more time. So you can see how maybe by using some colliders, some maybe some tricks, maybe some shooting or something like that, we can trigger that collider to set that break force on that object to zero, thus breaking that connection, that joint, and it's tied to the rope. And you can see that the rope at, on the left is still sort of shaking, which is kind of cool. Second bonus bonus, you can also go in and use the same for maybe like chandeliers or other objects by using the same simple steps that we went over today. This is just a simple chandelier found in their dark fantasy pack and I just added this corpse bottom as a child so it just looks like it's hanging with no actual um, physics involved but you could also create a physics portion of this and just like the previous one, we have this fixed joint. We can change the brake force to zero. And it falls down. Pretty cool, right? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like stuff like this, please give a like and subscribe down below. i uh, love to hear your comments of maybe how to make this better or other configurable type joint type things that you might want to see in the future. Happy Halloween.